hi everyone in this session we are going to cover how to install oracle ebusiness suite r12 release 1 which is 12.1.1 first and important thing to note is the installer or installation of ebusiness suite r12 is done using root user or admin so you never install oracle ebusiness from a non root user you always install it from a root user now second thing is uh, there are in ebusiness suite there's an application tier and a database tier so when you install oracle ebusiness suite you can install it as a single user which means the application tier and database tier are both are owned by one single user or one single operating system user other option is where you have two user install where database tier is owned by one user like Oracle or O prod R12 or it or one particular user whereas application tier is owned by second user so first one is called a single single user installer install and second is called as to user or multi user install so in this session we are going to use to user install which is for application tier we are going to use a p r d r12 where a stands for application tier p r d it's a production environment and r12 the database tier will be owned by another operating system user o p r d r12 where O stands for Oracle or database tier, PRD is production environment, R12 is it's a R12 environment. So first thing you do is you create a group called DBA and the command to call create a group is group add and then DBA. I already have created a group called DBA so if I run it now I think it should error out saying group already exists which is group db exist now next task is that I create a user for application tier which is user add space minus d is what is the group that users should belong to which is dba and name of the user which is a p r d r 12 so this is my application tier use application tier operating system user hit enter sorry the command to add group is g so user add minus g is group dba aprdr12 now added a user called aprdr12 similarly create another user called oprdr12 which is o is for database user or database tier user hit enter now you have two users aprdr12 and oprdr12 both under group DBA then we are going to next task is we are going to create a base directory in which we are going to install Oracle eBusiness so the naming convention we use is under Oracle apps EBS this is my base directory in which I'm going to install my Oracle eBusiness suite now since we are going to create install it so in EBS directory then you create a directory called prdr12 and where prdr12 is my eBusiness suite instance or database um, name which will cover or when we when we st start installing and configuring that's when I'll tell you what that instance or SID means but for now you create a directory called prdr12 and hit enter then you go to the directory prdr12 inside that you create three more directories so you create mkdir apps inst and db again i'll cover that apps apps and inst are the directories owned by application user aprdr12 and db is the directory owned by database user oprdr12 so first is you create three directories do a ls and 
so you have three directories under oracle apps ebs prdr12 now if you notice all these directories are owned by root user so we need to change the ownership to our application tier user aprd for instant apps and oprd r12 for db so the command to change ownership is chown user is aprd r12 which is operating system user the colon and db is the group and we want to set it to for inst similarly do it for apps now if you do ls minus l now you see the permission or the owner of inst and apps directory are now aprd r12 similarly change the ownership of db to oprd r12 so ch on oprd r12 space the directory for database is db now if you see ls minus ltr you have db directory owned by oprd r12 our database application tier sorry database tier user and instant apps are owned by the application tier user after creating the user and creating the required directories we are now ready to start so go to staging area our staging area is stage oracle ebs ebs and then 12.1.1 if you do come here these are all the zip files which we have downloaded and unzipped here which is created five directories you go to start cd and inside start cd go to disk one inside disk one you go to rapid viz so your full path is the directory in which you downloaded the software then start cd disk one rapid viz if you see here do ls for linux there's a file called rapid viz that's the file which you need to execute from user root before we start the installation let's check one more thing which is host file which is important whatsoever is your etc host file first entry in your etc host file for that host that's the name on which it's going to install ebusiness so here my ip address of this machine is this and the name of host name fully first name is ebs.k21technologies.com and that's that's what ebusiness suite installation will use to install uh, the software so when it picks up the date the machine name it is going to pick ebs.k21technologies.com so let's start the rapid viz or let's me exit from this window and start rapid viz hit enter now this starts your installer that's where you so on your welcome page or first page you click next now you have on select wizard operation if you are upgrading and from a earlier version to 12.1.1 that's when you select the upgrade otherwise you install oracle ebusiness site when you install oracle applications 12.1.1 there's a another option which is express install and when you select this express install as you see here in hint it will install a single user whereas we wanted multi-user or two users oprdr12 and aprdr12 then another thing express install will do is it will install the ebusiness suite with the default settings default port numbers and if you want to change any of the default settings then you shouldn't use express install so uncheck or ensure that this express install is not checked and click next now on email address screen don't check anything click next now if since you're doing it first time you create a new configuration there's a possibility to have 
the configuration all stored in into a config file and then you can use that config file but for this session we are going to select create a new configuration and click next now this is important this is port pool which means when eBusiness Suite install it installs services on some port number like database service on 1521 RPC port 1626 web SSL 443 and so on so these are the default port it select when you select port pool 0 now you you have an option to change port pool which means if for some reason you want to use a different pool port number I'm going to use a different one which is 21 21 is from a lucky number for me so that's when we select or k21 representing port number 21 now as soon as you change 21 all your database ports default was or zero port pool was 1521 it automatically adds 21 in that which is now 1542 similarly if you go to web port by default web listener port is 8000 if you now you have selected port pool 22 21 then you have web listener port now changed to 8021 so select a port pool of your choice we have selected 21 you can use the default which is 0 and click next now on database node configuration you have two type of databases which you can install one is vision demo database and fresh database when you select vision demo database the installer will load eBusiness with database with a dummy company with all the data which you can use for your training or as in a play environment if you don't want any of the data then you select and or if you're doing it for production environment that's when you do fresh database the vision demo database will use a lot of space uh, whereas fresh database since we are not loading any data in the database the foot the disk footprints are less when you select fresh database for this session we are going to select fresh database now you remember when we were creating the directory structure we created something like oracle apps ebs and then prdr12 this is what we mentioned earlier that whatsoever is said we usually have the naming convention that that's what will be installing it under so that's the database set which we were talking about we change it to prd r12 and this is going to be said for my ebs database now the host name is pick it's picking the host name from etc file first entry from my etc host file for that ip address which this machine's ip address is this and first entry is ebs.k21technologies.com where ebs is the host name and k21technologies.com is the domain name so if you see here it is automatically picked up host name is ebs the domain name is this now database operating system user we remember we initially created a database user called oprd r12 and if you see here the DB is owned by OPRD R12 and the D group is DBA so we select here or change it to OPRD R12 the group is DBA and base directory in our case is this is the directory which we created earlier base directory which is Oracle apps EBS let's double check the base directory so if you see here Oracle apps this is my base directory which is oracle apps ebs prdr12 oracle apps ebs prdr12 click next on licensing type you select what type of license you want which is there are two options suite license or component license so leave default suite license you can change it depending on your requirement click next